In this video, we'll explore the various configuration options offered by Illuminated Cloud. We can begin looking at those options by going into IDEO settings. Let's start with code folding. You can tell Illuminated Cloud which types of blocks should be automatically collapsed when files are first opened. Additionally, if you explicitly expand or collapse blocks within certain files, Illuminated Cloud will remember that when those files are reopened, even if that doesn't match your settings here. Now let's look at the Apex code formatter. The Apex code formatter offers over 100 options for how Apex code and embedded SQL and SOSL queries should be formatted. These range from the type of indent used, to how spaces are preserved around various syntactic constructs, to the age-old debate over next line or end of line. As you can see, as settings are changed, those are reflected in real time in the sample code. With over 100 settings, you should be able to configure this to meet your own preferences or those of your team standards. Illuminated Cloud also includes file templates for various types of Apex classes, triggers, Visual Force pages and components, and of course the metadata files associated with those source files. These file templates are configurable in place or you can create your own, and those will be presented to you when you create the respective file types. You can also configure Illuminated Cloud at an application level. For example, you can enter a license key if you've purchased it, and if you've previously entered a license key, you can deactivate that key on this machine if you need to move it to another machine. You can also configure Illuminated Cloud's real-time validation and deployment features here. I'll go into those on, in more detail in the video session on metadata retrieval and deployment. On a per-project basis, you can configure the force.com connections associated with that project and how those packages are associated with the various modules for that project. You can also configure Illuminated Cloud support for development of multiple managed packages in a single dev org here, but that's an advanced topic that will be covered in a different session. You can generate and regenerate Illuminated Cloud's offline symbol table here, and if necessary, you can ask Illuminated Cloud to rebuild its caches and indices. To look at the module specific settings, we can go into the project structure. Each module configured for Illuminated Cloud will have an Illuminated Cloud facet. Within that facet, you can configure, again, the connection used for that module, the optional development package associated with that module, and how the, model, how the module's contents are selected. The first option, with the first option, if no package is selected, the module will be as associated with all metadata in the org, or if a package is selected, with all metadata in that package. Or, you can configure your own package XML and filter deployment and retrieval through that. Or, you can select your own subset of metadata explicitly. Additionally, you can configure powerful substitution rules for deployment and retrieval of metadata. This is particularly useful if you work on a distributed development team where there may be differences between various developers' workstations, or if you develop managed packages. In this example, I'm showing how you can automatically comment out deprecated annotations on deployment and restore them on retrieval. If you've ever developed managed packages in a distributed form, you can understand why this will be particularly useful. That was an overview of many of the configuration options for Illuminated Cloud. Thank you very much.